Oh, hey guys, how the frigs it going today? Well, it's Wednesday here on Vlogging Life. I just got done making myself some breakfast. The usual eggs and toast. You gotta love it. I'm not really a man of uh, changing things up, you know, throw a scramble egg or an egg sandwich or something like that, but yellow dippy eggs and toast every freaking day for the past month, eh? Holy shit, what's going on? Well, today I was going to go outside and do the handle on the, uh, the garage door, but Jesus Murphy, it's colder than Santa's tits out there. It's like minus 20 right now. I don't want to be freaking working on a doorknob at minus 20. Are you kidding me? So we're probably not going to do that today. Ah, <laughs> uh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. It's no rush. Get to it when we get to it. But, um, so yeah, I got the doorknob right here. It's not like I put it somewhere or put it in the garage or anything. It's right here ready to be put on. It's just... I know it's not a hard job either, like literally, all you do, we'll demonstrate on the shitter one, is, like I replaced this doorknob here on the shitter, so you just remove that, that, slide this out, this to separate, and you pull this out, two screws, put the new one in, put the new handle on, screw it all in, done. It's like a five second job, it's just... When it's minus freaking cold outside, the last thing you want to be doing is dicking around outside, especially with metal items. Nothing gets your hands colder than a metal item right on your hands, and you can't wear good gloves, because if you wear gloves, then you can't feel shit, and it really sucks, especially when you're trying to use a drill with gloves. It's not fun. Well, the gloves I have anyway, because they're not finger gloves, they're like snowmobile mitts. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to go eat my breakfast, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do today. This weather sucks! So ecstatic for when it's no longer this weather. Yeah, frig, in 13 days. Well, by the time you watch this, in 12 days. No, fucking 10 days. What is this ticket for? For the Smash Wrestling in 10 days. 9 days when you watch this. I'll be checking out some wrestling. So it's not this weekend coming up. It's next weekend on Saturday. Yup, next Saturday is wrestling. I'm going to go see some Smash. I'm going to bring you guys along too. Hopefully I can record some clips. And you guys can check that out. I just finished uh, recording a video called YouTube Simulator. Well, actually, it's called Tube Tycoon, a YouTube simulator. Where, basically, you simulate the roles of being a YouTuber. I.e., starting up your channel, making shitty videos to start. And then, hopefully, progressing and getting higher quality videos for people to enjoy. And it's an interesting game, but it needs a lot more work. It's still in beta. But I went ahead and made a video of that. That's going up to Skaven Games. Because I can upload to Skaven Games now. That's so freaking exciting for me. Oh, frig. I'm so happy that I can upload to Skaven Games now. I'm actually thinking about doing some live streams over there for funsies. Because just to get that channel pumping again. And trying to boost that one up. Because, yeah. And I already mentioned on last night's live stream. As to why all the live streams and shit have been happening on Vlogging Life. I'm going to leave them there though. Like the Grand Theft Auto live streams and so on and so forth when I'm gaming with the guys because people like watching that. So why move it over to another channel already? I might just do some extra live stream. Like if I'm bored during the day, instead of live streaming the vlogging life, I'll live stream the Skaven games. Break it, see how that goes. Should be pretty awesome, maybe. Probably not. Who knows? Well, I have no idea what to do with myself today. I really don't feel like going outside and doing any work, but honestly, oh, I also realigned the camera here a little bit. Gets a good shot of the landing and a decent shot of downstairs. Put the curtain on the box. I say put the curtain on the box. Get then? Fuck, she looks like genuinely upset with me right now. What's the matter? You don't look at me? I'm gonna pet you so there's nothing you can do about that because you're stuck. You're not stuck, but you're not about to get up and run away because you're comfy cozy. Anyway, um. Flop. <laughs> Everybody do the flop. Blip. All right, well, I'm gonna let the dog out, and then we're gonna head out to the garage. And I don't know, probably fuck around in there for a bit. I gotta clean this door because if you notice, it doesn't quite close right, and that's because there's snow built up there. So I'm gonna have to clear that. I'm just waiting for him to go for a dookie. You can't even close the fucking thing right now. 
<sighs> it's fucking winter, gonna eat a bag of dicks. That door is wide open again. So yeah, you know what, friggin'. We're gonna go out, we're gonna install this here locking door mechanism jobby. And get that all fixed. Hey, how are you? Stay in the yard, bud. I know, it's a mess. Go for a poop. Come in the house. Do something. Yeah, go for a shit right where I'm going to walk. That's fine. I'm going to have to shovel out there anyway. But um, I'm going to go ahead and install this because I'm sick and tired of that door being open because the latch won't close. So uh, maybe he doesn't have to poop. I don't know. That could be really slammer. It's fine. But look at the friggin' bend on the door. All because of down there. A piece of shit. But <laughs> look at his face. He got snow on his face. Stay off me. You're covered in snow. But uh, yeah, so we'll head outside. We'll um, I'm gonna shovel in front of the door first. And then we'll put that doorknob on. Actually, you know what? We might just do the doorknob first and then worry about shoveling after. Because uh, I also want to do a little bit of moving shit around in the garage. So let's get out there and do that. Well, it's not that bad out here. The deep snow sucks though. <clears throat> This thing needs, I need to do some serious fucking work in here. Okay, let me uh, just get things all set up here. Move my shovel. And we'll use this oil to hold the door open. All right. So, screws are right there. Look like they're flatheads and they're not in right. Looks like this one here is coming right out. Yeah. Okay, let's unbox this new knob and we'll see what it entails after we make some room in here. Alrighty, so here's all the hardware. There's your screws to hook it all together and to tie this part into the door frame. That's a nice friggin' punchy guy. Perfect. It didn't. Oh, it did it? Wait, I might be talking too soon. Yeah, it did. It came with the uh, instructions, which we're not going to need because it's not that hard. But it came with the uh, the wall plates too, if I want to replace it. So that's good. I'm going to keep the one that's in there. It works. So why replace it? Anyway. Um, all right. I need a flathead screwdriver. And we'll start extracting the old knob. Okay, this is awesome. These are flathead. The ones on the end here are uh, Robinson. Uh, square, if you will. You know what? I don't know if you guys remember, but over the summer... When dad came over and brought this door over, he got this door off of a friend. This is the handle from the original wooden door that was here. And the handle broke. One of the mounting studs gave out. And I welded it with the uh, with the Power Fist welder back together. And it worked for a good little bit. But I think it broke again. First thing you want to do in removing, I know you can't see anything, but you want to remove the doorknob first. I'll take that stud out. Yeah, it broke again. It did not hold. Well, son of a dick. Let's see. The stud I originally took this stud here and I tick 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 welded it on, but it broke. Probably from just wear and tear. It's an old handle from like fuck whenever the previous owners put it on. Alright, now I need a Robinson Red. Which I think I have right here. Then we extract these screws. Like I said, changing a doorknob is not exactly rocket science. It's pretty much self-explanatory. You know, as long as the holes are drilled in the door properly and you're using a, a factory door, you should be fine. Once you have that said and done, I like to put my screwdriver in here and just go like that. And then, done. Your actuator's out. Your, 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 your latch. Your latch is out. That's better. All right, now we grab the new latch. Make sure you're putting this in right too. Like, don't put it in like that way. Like, see how it goes in like that way? Don't put it in that way there, it's not gonna work. You want it facing. The way the door is closing, that's the direction you want the slope of the new latch to be on. Otherwise, it's not gonna close and you're gonna have a bad time. Oh, and it'll be really easy to open too. So your security will be compromised. And of course, 
these ones here got to be Phillips head. Son of a bitch. I've used three different types of screwdrivers for this project already. <coughs> then we'll just screw this back in. Like so. Do the same on the bottom. Like so. And now we attach the doorknob. Here's another thing you got to be careful of. You want to find the knob with the lock. And you want to put that one on the outside, right? Because the last thing you need to do is to have it where you can lock, people can lock you in. And I don't know if you've seen that there, but when you get it in, these little pitons here for the screws are going to blow right through. So once that happens, you're pretty much golden. And then you just take your other side of your knob, the one with the actual lock on it, line it up, and you're done. Right now it's locked. We unlock it. Nice. Now we just drive our screws through. I usually like to get them started by hand, but to each their own. It's an awkward angle for the screwdriver. Maybe now, when we're all said and done, I can close this door and it'll stay closed. And we won't have any more blizzards in the garage. Wouldn't that be awesome? And there we go. Doorknob is on. Let's give it a test. Alrighty, we'll get the oil out of the way here. And we'll see if she closes. Well, she probably would if there wasn't snow in the way. Okay, I'm obviously gonna have to do some cleaning, some shoveling before we can test out the doorknob. Son of a bitch. I know there's been a lot more of you added since back in the day, since last year this time. But the garage has a problem in the winter, see? This side lifts up in the winter and then sags back down to the normal level in the summer. And because of that, the door rubs up here in the winter. In the summer, she goes in no problem. But the winter, it acts up. So I got her closed and I can open it. But you can tell, like watch, she bangs off that. But she will close. You just gotta influence it a little bit. Kind of a pain in the cock, but we tried to rectify that this summer and it didn't work out, so probably gonna have to come up with another battle plan. That's a given. At least now snow can't get in here. That is a definite bonus. Oh, that was annoying. Poor grinder. Hopefully it's okay. So now I can finally lock my garage again. Never could before. All those trips to blokes, this place is wide open. Anybody could have came in here and picked and choose any of the trash they wanted. But, uh, not anymore. Well, who says that? People want in, they're getting in a fucking little key lock, ain't gonna stop them. There, I moved the motorbike out of the way. I couldn't push it, I was like, what the hell? I forgot, Rex put it in gear. Which is something I should probably do too, right now. I didn't know how to get it in the neutral, I had to look it up on my phone. Because, uh, I never really driven a motorbike with it. Well, I did drive a motorbike with a transmission, but it was a dirt bike. And I used to start it in gear because Dave had all the safeties turned off. And it was David's farm, uh, his little 100cc Honda bike. I drove that for a quick bit, but uh, never really had to put her back in neutral. And I didn't realize how to do it, and I didn't realize you gotta lift up on the shifter a half a click. Luckily, it wasn't too hard to find. You got it on my first try, so go team me! And now you see how new I am to the motorbike world, and that's what I love about that course because it's designed for people like me. Who are so new, have never driven a bike, but like the idea and want to give it a go. So uh, that's friggin' awesome. I'm anxious to get on this thing. And I was actually talking with uh, GWC Redneck last night, uh, Great White Canadian Redneck. He was playing video games with us, and uh, he's got one of these. His is an 83, mine's an 84. Same exact freaking bike. He sent pictures, he's like, dude, this is what mine looks like, and I'm like, same. Except for he has a clear uh, windshield, and mine's tinted, but honestly, there's no way in hell he, that windshield is going to protect your face. All that's going to do is fire the air, hopefully it gets over your body and you don't take it all in the chest. That's it, that's all. That, that is not a windshield. They should have just made that a solid piece of plastic. Nobody's going to lean over enough driving this thing to get their head down, so it's resting on that freaking key, you know? Stupid feature, but whatever. It is what it is. 1984, bitches! Anyway, I heard the plow go by uh, last night. I'm gonna go and assess the rear driveway, the uh, back end of the driveway. 
see how fucked it is. Oh shit. Oh, this whole driveway's fucked. Who am I kidding? Oh yeah, this is just rifle cocked. <sighs> I'm gonna have to fucking shovel. Yeah, there's no way in hell my car would ever get out of that. Son of a bitch. Perfect time for the snowblower to shit the bed. Just checked the mail. I was like, oh yeah, my T4 might be in today. Yeah, right. Anyway, I'm gonna head outside and shovel the driveway. So, if you don't hear anything from me after that, it's because I died. All right, talk to you in a bit. Well guys, I had to come back inside. I got most of the driveway done. I got a little bit to do at the end, and that's about it. Get done with then. So cute. Don't think I didn't see you on the couch, dude. I knew you were up there. <laughs> you wanna know how I knew you were up there? We're gonna come over here. You've been laying there for a while, too. I bet you it's really warm right here, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Because he was laying right there and I was watching him from right there. Oh, you know you're not allowed on the furniture. You don't give a fuck, do you? No, you don't. Yeah, I got this problem in my lower back and it's been happening since 2011 where like mowing the lawn or snow blowing the driveway, it would start to act up, but I could usually work through it. But like last summer when I was chopping the stump out and digging and all that, it got to the point where I couldn't move my left leg. Like the back pain got so bad, my left leg was disabled. And I'd have to like, I was like hobbling back to the house and I looked ridiculous and stuff, but um, I don't know what it is, a herniated disc, uh, sciatica, whatever the freak they call it. But what I do is I'll go outside, shovel for a bit. The moment it acts up to the point where my leg starts going numb, then I say, frig it, come back in the house, rest for a bit, and then go back out and try it again. Not like I got anywhere to be. So, it's not a big deal. I got plenty of food, plenty of drink, plenty of shit here that I don't need to go out grocery shopping for like a while. So, yeah. I can take my time, get that driveway done. It's not supposed to snow at all. And by next Monday, they're calling for plus eight. That's right, plus eight degrees Celsius. That's the day I'm gonna spend fixing <laughs> the snow blower. <laughs> Well, it's supposed to be cold tomorrow. It's going to be minus 12 tomorrow and then like minus 2 on Friday. So I might tackle it on Friday. We'll see. Right now I'm waiting for these pogos to be done. I just made some pogos to eat. I'm freaking starving. And um, yeah, uh, waiting for flyers to show up too. I want to bang out at least pre-record flyer day for tomorrow. And that way there it'll be easy to integrate it and go from there. But anyway, pogos are done. Talk to you guys later. So I went back out there and did a little bit more. My fucking back, people. Oh, it's so fucked up. I wonder if I need a chiropractor if they could correct this problem or something. Oh, just sucks. Anyway, I also took out some pork chops and thawing them out in the old bucket of water technique. We're going to drive them in the air fryer and have pork chops and rice for supper, probably. I'm going to have that cheese and broccoli rice tonight. Fuck yeah! So I got it going. Oh my god. <laughs> Puppy! <laughs> oh, he's, he's, oh, oh, oh. Alrighty, well, I got my dinner going. Still have no idea if we have flyer day out there yet. I'm gonna go check and see if I can see out the window at the mailbox. See if she's gaping with flyers. I think she is. Okay, so. We'll wait for food to cook. We'll go outside. We'll take Stupid with us. Now he's happy. And we'll uh, grab the flyers. They weren't there. What time is it now? 7 o'clock? 7.30 almost? Yeah, they weren't there an hour ago. No, I had to come back inside and fucking sit down and just rest my back because it was fucking torched. Like, I basically shovel to the point where my left leg wants to quit. And then, at that point there, I'm like, yeah, I gotta stop or otherwise I'm not gonna make it back in the house. Because the moment I start losing feeling in my left leg, that's when I know shit's getting bad. It's probably a pinched nerve. But, yeah, I got this. Still got a little bit more to go at the end of the driveway. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I really can't be bothered to care. Yay, we got flyers. I'm gonna go through them, figure out what we're gonna use for tomorrow. 
Alrighty, well we got our candidates for tomorrow, so we'll friggin' pitter patter and have at her with this then. Gonna bring these upstairs, put them on the desk. Get ready for some flare day. Uh, better go check on my dinner. That's not my dinner. I uh, still hear the friggin' rice cooker going, so. Oh, she's smoky down here. Poor chop's burnt. But uh, they probably look awesome, nonetheless. Oh yeah, they do. Nice. Alrighty, I just went and had a crap, so we didn't have any more disaster farts like the last one. And this thing's done now, so we're going to go ahead and get some food plated and go from there. Alrighty, we're good to go. Dinner's ready. I don't think anything else is going on tonight. Tomorrow I definitely got to finish off that driveway. Um, Tomorrow's Thursday, so it's also flyer day, so get ready for that. Well, even though Friday is when it comes out, but you know what I mean. Uh, tomorrow I'll be filming flyer day. Not sure what else we're going to do. Probably going to go through the flyers and see if there's any cool deals, because you never know, maybe a laser printer's on sale, and I probably need one of those to print off for Zoomays and other things, like juice labels. <clears throat> but, yeah, I'm going to call her quits for tonight, people. So on that note, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Yeah, I know, I got a back problem, and that's what friggin' gives me some troubles when I'm out there doing some work. Like I said, I don't feel it when I'm snow blowing. Well, I feel it when I'm snow blowing, but it's not as harsh. It doesn't come on as quick. And I feel it when I'm lawn mowing, and I always blamed it to having to bend over so much, but I think now the reason why I bend over is because the lower back gets weak. Or just starts fucking hurting. I don't know, somebody said... I looked up the symptoms online. They said sciatic disc or sciatic nerve. And it's a lower back problem that basically causes exactly what I defined. It's like I get a sharp pain in my lower back, and I can usually ignore that and work through it, but then it travels down my left leg and disables it. So, kind of sucks, but it is what it is. But anyway, people, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and comment, as always. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.